I'm Jewel, and I'll be showing you how to clean the Duna canopy, how to remove it, clean it, and put it back together. The first thing we're gonna do is lock the Duna car seat. So that way it won't move and we're removing everything. You're gonna remove the pads from the seat belt latch. Once you do that, you'll remove the seating pad, which is fairly easy because it's not really attached to anything. Then we're gonna turn the car seat over so we can remove the seat belt latches from it, the connection from the back. So once you remove that, which as you can see, is a little bit challenging, only because the way it was installed. But we're getting through it. Now that we had the remove, you turn the car seat back over, and then you're gonna detach the head pad. Um, make sure you detach the back. It's only two parts to that, yeah. So detach it, then remove it. Then we remove the latches, the seatbelt latches, okay? Once we do that, this is the most challenging part about removing a car seat, the canopy. So see, it is, uh, you're gonna have to tug with it a little bit, to be honest, and pull very, hard and then detach it from the back but make sure you pull very hard and then there are two elastics on the very end so you are going to have to remove the elastics first as you can see i'm removing the elastic then that's how you remove the canopy and voila it's removed and at this point i had already cleaned it so i was just making this video to show you how to remove it and now we're putting it back together so you're gonna put the padding back by detaching it. I'm sorry about attaching it through the back, as you see. And you're gonna attach it based on what's more com comfortable for your child. Like my baby, it's I use the, the the highest one because it's more comfortable for her. And then you're gonna put the seatbelt latches through the back, through the holes. If you use the second one, that's fine. If you use the the last one, that's fine. And once you pull it through. You're going to connect it, which won't take long. I had a harder time detaching it than attaching it, so, but not too challenging. You got it, and you're gonna pull the seatbelt latches up, and of course, always make sure you're following seatbelt protocols. And then we're gonna go ahead and put back on the, the pads which is fairly easy, just two clips per pad. And another thing, you could have put the seatbelt first, seatbelt latches first and then the head pad, but it's up to you. This is the wrong way to do it. So, and I'll show you why it's the wrong way because the curve has to face you. And the Duna yellow tag has to be on your right hand side. So I could already tell you that it's on wrong. This is not the way you do it. But I'm just showing you that way you can know that it's the wrong way. And then I'll show you the correct way to do it. See? Because it's that way, it would not go in correctly. You go, you'll probably break it trying to force it to go back, to go put it in the, in the hole and connect it. Yeah, so that tells you right there that it's wrong. You shouldn't have to force it so much to go in. This is the correct way. Do you see how the curve is facing me? And then the Duna tag, that's on the, the yellow Duna tag is on the right hand side. Okay. I'm going so fast that you, as you can see that I'm not put, I'm having a hard time getting it through, but it shouldn't be that difficult to, to get it through. It's just that because I'm going so fast and you know how that goes when you're going so fast, you know, you're a little nervous and you don't do things like you're supposed to. But we got it, here we go. As you can see, you see the curve that tells you that it's on the right. And like I said, a Duna yellow tag should be facing you on the right hand side. As you can see, the curve that tells me that it's on the right. And what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna attach the back first. Once we get that in, and that should be easy. And we're gonna go ahead and don't forget the elastic piece. You have to make sure the elastic piece is put in between the two holes. There's a, a, a hole in there that you wanna make sure you pull the elastic through that. And you're gonna snap it in. You have to hear a click so that way you know it's on tight and correct. So I'm putting on the other elastic. Okay, 
and then snap it in there. Put a little force in there, but you have to hear the snap so you know it's on correctly. And then you see how tight it is and it's not floppy or anything. So that tells you that it's on correctly. And see, there you go.